the funniest person 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 the funniest
Uh, also, we, as I said, we need to make sure we get C.J. Gardner-Johnson back on his roster. Um, I would like to see Javon Hargrave. I know Javon Hargrave uh, is always underlooked, in my opinion. Uh, he never gets the credit that he deserves. But I have been reporting on Javon Hargrave all season, um, and he's just a great, great addition to this team. Um, he just, he just, uh, he's, he's really well. But I just don't know because uh, reports are that uh, Seattle is definitely uh, one of the teams that's in line to uh, put a bag on on top of uh, Javon Hargrave's head. So we got to make sure we do what we got to do to retain Javon Hargrave. And if it's not possible, hey, it is it is what it is. Um, I would also, and that's, to me, it's important that we do that. And if we don't, then we really are going to have to make some um headway at picking up a player like uh, Jalen Carter. Um, we just have to. We have to make sure that um, we keep that spot, you know, great and with a really good rotation. Jalen Carter is one of those guys that's ready to play game one. Um, he's he's just super talented. Um, he was great on the defensive line for the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, and, and that's like a winning pedigree, it seems to me, uh, to just draft Georgia players and Alabama players. You're going to be all right. So if if we can't do nothing about Javon Hargrave and he got to walk, I would love I would love to see us do what we got to do to move up and um, pick up a guy like Jalen Carter. So, again, if I had to pick – Another player, uh, I would love to retain a player like T.J. Edwards, man. T.J. Edwards is a great player. He had a really great season. Um, I know it's time for T.J. Edwards to get paid, but um, he definitely uh, was able to um, translate into this um, this year's linebacking core with him and Kaiser White. But to be honest, I know we probably won't be able to bring back Kaiser White, but if we could bring back T.J. Edwards, um, that would be amazing because we need some type of, uh, you know, not veteran presence, but somebody who's been in this system for a while to to uh, maintain that linebacker spot. Especially with Kaiser leaving, we're probably going to end up um, having to see a little bit more of uh, N'Kobe Dean, which I am a fan of. You know, I think we picked N'Kobe Dean in the third round. Uh, N'Kobe Dean is a great player. I really think that he's going to translate well into this defensive, uh, this defensive team. Uh, but I would love to use our first couple picks, you know, in the draft on the on the defense. I feel like we need to stack up this this defensive side of the ball. Offensively, I think we are um, okay. We don't need a bunch of additions. We just basically need to uh, shore up a few spots, you know, like Isaac Saimalu and. Um, Jason Kelsey. But other than that, I think that this offense is is intact, you know, uh, with addition to a running back. I think that this offense is intact, but we cannot forget about Kenny Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell is a beast. Kenneth Gainwell has put the work in. He has proved to us that he can be a dynamic running back in this league. To me, um, Kenny Gainwell, he reminds me of a player like, um, um, uh, let's see, Maybe like CMC, yeah. Let's. He, he is. He's a real good player, man. I, I think that him and C, him and CMC is a a real good comparison. But if I had to, if everything else falls in line, we need to make sure that we stack up this defense, um, especially with um, the clown out of here, John Gannon. You know, he had all that talent, and at the biggest stage, he he uh, his talent level and his coaching ability. Um, it just didn't show up. He didn't put the players in the right place. Um, and, and and look, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. You know, John Gannon was the reason why the Philadelphia Eagles lost the Super Bowl. John Gannon is not a part of this team no more. John Gannon also, he also admitted to the fact that he was the reason why this team was not successful in the Super Bowl. So with all that being said, I would love to reinvent this defense, um, get a whole new defensive scheme installed and a new uh, defensive coordinator that can turn up the pressure and um, coach a team like the Philadelphia Eagles. But if I had to pick a player, I mean, if I had to pick some players that I would like to spend um, that that top 10 pick on, um, so they may not be available, but if, but if some 
way, somehow, they end up there around six or seven. These are the players that I would like to choose. First, I would like to pick um, Jalen Carter. That would be pick number one for me. The guy's a monster. Uh, he would be great on the defensive side of the ball. Um, Brian Breesey is another player who I like, who I've been looking up and searching and, and, and looking at his highlights. He's just a great player. And the third person would be Will Anderson. Those three players right there are the top interior defensive players um, available in this year's draft. Um, but I also wanted to bring up something. I've been really doing my research on a guy named Cam Smith. Cam Smith is a, is a creeper. He is really, really good. Um, I would love to see him in an Eagle jersey. And I think I'm almost positive, you know, I mean, it's not here yet, so I don't know, but I'm almost positive that Cam Smith will be there around that ninth or 10th pick. And, you know, if we have to trade up a few picks to get him, I'm cool with that. But Cam Smith is big. He's physical. He has great change of direction. He's 6'1", but he still runs a 4'5 and a 40. Look, man, that's blazing, blazing quick. He is super aggressive. Oh, a big body corner, an aggressive guy, somebody who definitely will compliment Darius Slay on the other side, um, on the outside. So, Let's do what we got to do. People keep sleeping on Cam Smith. Cam Smith is a beast. He's a beast. So those are my four players that I would pick um, if I had had it my way. <laughs> so another thing, I would also love, I think the Eagles also, yeah, the Eagles also have um, the 30th pick in the draft. Um, you know, we can always bundle up some picks and move up and pick up players like uh, Bijan Robinson and uh, Jameer Gibbs. You know, knowing that we most likely will not have Miles Sanders back next year, we need to make sure that we put some some uh, help right there at the running back spot. You know, especially we may not even get Boston Scott back. I'm pretty sure we won't get Boston Scott back next year as well. So we need to make sure that we are definitely beefing up that backfield. So Jameer Gibbs or B. John Robinson be, will be one of those offensive running backs, those threats, you know, those big, those their big backs, big strong backs, you know, to complement a guy like Kenneth Gainwell. So that's something that we need to look into as well. You know, I would really love to get either one of those players. Um, another thing I want to bring up real quick before we get up out of here is I'm hoping that we can put some chips in Jalen Hurts' pockets in the, in the near future, uh, like 50 million of them. You know, in my opinion, over the next multiple years, but you know how we could play with the contract and play with the numbers and make it work out for the team, you know, but I, I, I kind of think that um, we are waiting to see um, what we're going to do with, with the restructures and everything and how much money we're going to really have to play with outside of this 10 million. So put some, put some, I've been saying it since middle of the season. Jalen's our guy. Jalen is the reason why we can beef up the defense and not use that pick on a quarterback or anything on offense because Jalen was the guy. Jalen stood up and he proved that he was the guy. Jalen already is like a, a nostril Domus, you know, with the words. He already trademarked um, one of his uh, slogans. Like, I think it was, I had a purpose um, before y'all had an opinion. Like that's a major dude. That's a, that's amazing. So shout out to him and congratulate him. Congratulations to him on uh, trademarking things and you know just coming up with slogans. I, I've heard so many slogans that this guy came out with this season. You know he probably could have trademarked most of them if they weren't already taken. The Kelly green helmets are back next year. Look, man, those things are fire. One of my favorite designs, one of my favorite Eagle designs, the Kelly Green. I cannot wait to see the Philadelphia Eagles in Kelly Green. And, you know, it may be one of those uh, uniforms that we pull out every so often like we did the Midnight Black. Um, but, look, man, those jerseys are the best. We love those jerseys. We've been missing those jerseys. We've been begging for that Kelly Green. And they're finally back. So... Um, that's amazing news. Um, we ha also got to see uh, a picture of 
the Jalen Hurts helmet, and it looks so clean. So shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and also, I wanted to say real quick, shout out to the, the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, they won a really, really tight, close game against the Memphis Grizzlies. They had everybody on the edge of their seats. So shout out to Joel Embiid. Shout out to um, James Harden. Like those guys are, are really playing great. And I really cannot wait to see what we do uh, moving towards the end of the basketball season into the playoffs. Um, I love this time of the year because I love 76ers basketball. So shout out to them. Hopefully they can make some some good strides and, and, and get into the playoffs and maybe get into the championship just like the Eagles and the Phillies. So shout out to them. But real quick, man, before we get out of here, if you still watching this and you liking this, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all hit that notification bell so you never miss this work. But guess what, man? How to out of here today? Look, we on.